the United Kingdom is an independent country located on the west coast of the European continent with an area of approximately 243,000 square kilometers, which occupies a major part of the British archipelago and includes countries such as England, Scotland, Wales, and a part of northeast of the Republic of Ireland, which of course is called Ireland. The North says that it is a separate country compared to the Republic of Ireland. The United Kingdom is located between the North Atlantic Ocean and the North Sea and the Irish Sea, and is also 35 kilometers from the northwest coast of France, separated by the English Channel, and has only one land border with the Republic of Ireland. The rest is surrounded by sea. At its widest, the United Kingdom is 500 kilometers wide, and its length from the northern tip of Scotland to the southern coast of England is about 1,000 kilometers, and no part of the United Kingdom is more than 75 kilometers from the sea. At first, the first problem that comes to mind is the different and strategic location of the United Kingdom. According to the map, as you can see, the United Kingdom is an island region separated from the mainland of Europe and surrounded by seas on all sides. And one of the most important issues of this is that the United Kingdom is isolated from its European neighbors. This means that it can be difficult to maintain close relations with other countries in the region, which may lead to misunderstandings and conflicts. For example, during World War II, Britain could not rely on its European allies for support and had to fight alone against Nazi Germany. Another problem due to the geographical separation of the United Kingdom from Europe is that it is difficult for citizens of the United Kingdom to travel freely within the continent as they have to go through customs and immigration checks when entering other European countries, which can be time-consuming and expensive. In addition, United Kingdom citizens do not automatically enjoy certain rights in other European countries such as freedom of movement or access to health services. Finally, the geographical separation of the United Kingdom from Europe has also brought economic problems for this country. As an island nation, the Britain trade with other European countries is more expensive due to transport costs and tariffs imposed by the European Union, and this makes it more difficult for English companies to compete with their European counterparts in terms of price and quality of goods and services. The population of the United Kingdom is more than 67 million people, which has created problems due to its small area. And since the United Kingdom is one of the most populous countries in Europe and has an average of 270 people per square kilometer, it has limited space for housing, jobs and infrastructure. The population of the United Kingdom has increased by more than 10 million since 2001, and this growth shows no signs of slowing down, meaning that more people are competing for limited space, resulting in skyrocketing housing prices and there is a severe lack of affordable housing in many areas. The lack of available land has also led to increase the urban sprawl, which has caused environmental damage as more green spaces are being built or developed for housing and other uses, which has had a negative impact on biodiversity, air quality, and water resources. Of course, the England government has taken steps to address these by introducing measures such as the NPPF, the National Planning Policy Framework, which encourages local authorities to plan for development in a sustainable way that meets both the needs of people and consider their nature as well. However, this policy alone is not enough to solve the problem. As a result, these issues will only worsen if the population continues to grow at its current rate, and if the government wants to prevent serious problems in the future, it must take measures that to control these issues is effective. I hope you have enjoyed the video so far. I wanted to remind you that if you are interested in geography, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and in the end, I will suggest you the 8 countries held back by their geography video, which is related to this topic and their geographical problems of 8 countries. I will pay more, so let's go to the rest of the video. The geography of the United Kingdom is largely defined by its coastline, which stretches for more than 12,000 miles. Most of the coastal areas of the United Kingdom are in a state of erosion due to the climatic conditions that I will talk about at the end and the most important problem of this area. I have realized that this process has accelerated during the last decade, which can have destructive effects on coastal communities, wildlife, habitats, and infrastructure. In recent years, coastal erosion has become a serious problem in the United Kingdom. The coastline of England and Wales has been eroding at an average rate of 1 meter per year since the 1950s and is expected to increase with sea level rise due to climate changes increase this amount. In addition to sea level rise, other factors such as increased storm activity and human activities such as dredging can also play a role in coastal erosion. The effects of coastal erosion are far-reaching and can be devastating to local communities, and as land is lost to the sea, homes and businesses can be destroyed or damaged, and valuable wildlife habitats can also be lost. 
They are at risk of coastal erosion because they are often located near the coastline. Eventually, infrastructure such as roads and railways can be damaged or destroyed by waves or floods caused by coastal erosion. The Britain government has taken a step to address this by introducing a number of measures including beach nourishment schemes, which involve adding sand to beaches to protect them from waves. However, these measures have always protection against coastal erosion is insufficient, and some areas may require more drastic measures such as managed retreats. Where people living in vulnerable areas are moved away from the coast to protect them from damage, be more protected from rising sea levels. Also, this erosion has penetrated with the soils of this region and has caused landslides. Soil erosion occurs when wind or water reaches soil particles and leads to loss of land and damage to crops or buildings on the surface and landslides. Landslides occur when large amounts of soil or rock are moved down a slope by gravity or other forces such as earthquakes or heavy rainfall, resulting in both soil erosion and landslides, which can have serious consequences for Britain. And finally, one of the most important problems of the United Kingdom is its climate. As this region has seen an increase in average temperatures over the past few decades, and the hottest summer on record in history occurred in 2018, leading to an increase in heat waves and droughts in some areas are facing weather shortages. At the same time, extreme weather events such as floods and storms are becoming more common. For example, in the winter of 2015 to 2016, this region witnessed the worst flood in recent history, which especially parts of the north of England were seriously damaged, followed by the Kiara and Dennis storms earlier this year, which caused more disruption throughout the country of England. These extreme weather events have had a devastating impact on people's lives and livelihoods, as well as on wildlife and habitats, so that Britain's biodiversity is under threat from climate change, a species such as hedgehogs and bees are especially vulnerable to its effects. The Britain government has committed to an 80% reduction in greenhouse gas emissions by 2050, but much remains to be done if we are to avoid catastrophic climate change and if we are to protect our planet for future generations, we all must act now. Today's video was the first of our video collection titled Country Problems. I made this playlist on the channel and from now on, I will make several videos about other countries with this topic. If you want your country to be a priority, please ask in the comments section. In the end, thank you very much for being with me until now. And if you liked the video, please like it. And then I suggest you to watch the 8 cities held back by the geography video. And also if you enjoy geography, you can subscribe to our channel. Because we try our best to make interesting videos.